The northwestern peninsula and outlying islands of Trinidad, a premier destination for weekend vacationers, beachgoers, hiking enthusiasts, and most importantly, the yachting industry of Trinidad and Tobago. The Chagra area has served as the primary home to the yachting industry for well over a decade, catering to a variety of activities from crew to chartered boats yachting tourism and yachting and ancillary commercial enterprises to providing skilled workers and repair services as well as hosting special yachting events for stakeholders within the industry. The Ministry of Trade, Industry, Investment and Communications, otherwise known as the MTIIC, have been working towards gradually shifting the nation's economy from its primary focus on natural oil and gas to a more diversified structure. The yachting industry has been identified as one of the priority sectors that will lead the charge in the overall diversification of Trinidad and Tobago's economy. To assist in that drive, under the auspices of the MTIIC, the Yachting Steering Committee, or YSC, was established. The committee's chairman, Mr. Donald Stallmeyer, gave a comprehensive overview of the group's formation, key roles, and responsibilities for the development and growth of the yachting industry. The yachting industry was established many years ago by Cabinet under the purview of the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment. Um, the main reason for the establishment of the Yachting Steering Committee is to ensure the proper growth and development of yachting in Trinidad and Tobago um, through offering technical and sector-specific advice. Um, it comprises members of various agencies, both government and private sector. Uh, the government agencies, the main ones, being the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Investment, uh, the Ministry of Tourism, um, members from Customs and Immigration, uh, members from uh, the TDC and so forth. There are several others as well. Um, the focus is on strategies that will assist the, uh, in creating a global competitive industry in yachting. That is the main purpose of it. Trinidad and Tobago is ideally situated on the outskirts of the hurricane belt, making it somewhat of a safe haven for cruisers to store their yachts during the hurricane season. However, this is simply a dot on canvas compared to the holistic vision Trinidad and Tobago's government has painted for the yachting industry. In addition to providing storage and maintenance services for yachts, the strategic plan outlined activities to make Trinidad and Tobago the premier yacht repair hub in the Southern Caribbean. To help achieve these objectives, the government offers investment incentives to encourage potential investors to venture into the developing yachting industry. These incentives include tax concessions for companies that promote and sponsor the yachting community, tax exemptions for companies offering tourist attractions, and value-added tax exemptions for non-nationals seeking yacht repairs and services. Mr. Donald Stolmai elaborated on some of the initiatives the YSC has begun to put in place. Over the past few months, we've concluded the Yachting Strategic Plan. We hosted a stakeholders meeting. Um, we also completed the Yachting Policy, which is the, the means by which the plan will be implemented. We also hosted a stakeholder um, consultation on that. Um, last year, we completed the Economic Impact Assessment which would give us a good idea of what the economic impact is on Trinidad through the industry. Um, one of the very interesting uh, initiatives undertaken by the YSC has been a pre-feasibility study on marina sites in Trinidad and in Tobago. And the consultant came up with three possible sites in Tobago and three possible sites in Trinidad. Um, that is a very interesting part of what we've been doing. The YSC over the last several years has participated in an event called the Seven Seas Cruising Association. Um, it's called a GAM, but it's really a, a small boat show. But it's specific to people who are coming, yachtsmen who are coming into the Caribbean. And the idea is to track them all the way down to Trinidad. The YSC has also recently um, established 10 more moorings in Shagaramas Bay for yachtsmen to use. And those are uh, being very well um, attended to. Um, 
Another interesting um, initiative of the YSC is the creation of a yachting video for promotional um, purposes. This will be taken to boat yards, to, to, I'm sorry, to um, boat shows and will also be shown at the appropriate times. We're also undertaking, at this time it's about maybe 80% completed, um, a careers booklet for young people who may, may want to come into the yachting industry. And I think this is, is a, very, a very good thing to do, to let young people know what the industry is about, what the careers that are available are available, and so that they have an idea, because yachting is not that well known in Trinidad. We're also, at this point, attempting to set up a tourism information center in Shagaramas, because the yachts come into Shagaramas primarily. Probably 98% of yachts come into Trinidad, come to Shagaramas. And so we find that the yachting, that yachts when they come here, they come for work, to have work completed on their boats, but they are not, we're not really fully capitalizing on what is going on in the rest of Trinidad. So there's a huge tourism aspect of the yachting industry that we're trying now to capitalize on. And the establishment of the Tourism Information Center in Shagaramas would of course aid that greatly. Trinidad, historically being the more industrialized of the two islands, has had its focus primarily on providing yachting repairs and maintenance. Tobago's yachting focus, however, is slightly different as tourism and leisure take the center stage. Tobago offers a very, very good um, tourism aspect to the yachting industry with diving, lovely bays and beaches and um, lovely hikes and walks, waterfalls, lovely seas, corals, and reefs and so forth. So the Tobago product is also, we need to, we need to really um, encourage boats to go to Tobago more, to take advantage of that lovely pristine um, environment that Tobago offers. Since its inception over two decades ago, the yachting industry of Trinidad and Tobago has continually made forward strides in establishing itself as a viable avenue for aiding in the diversification of the country's economy. Proactive movements from the Ministry of Trade, Industry, Investment and Communications through the Yachting Steering Committee and in collaboration with the Yacht Association of Trinidad and Tobago have left a bright future ahead for the yachting industry to sail towards.